Yeah. We're in Reese's. What is it? Holden. Loan car. Loan car. What is it? Holden Trax Holden. Turbo. Holden Trax Turbo. This is my, my mum's car. Holden Trax. There's a spider inside the car. That's good. Hopefully it drops on me so we're driving. I got my blood done today. My blood taken. And um, I don't know what we were talking about, but she made the joke that I was like 12 or something. And then I said, oh no, haha, like I'm... 13 she's like no yeah she did did not believe me she said honestly you look 20 and i went, went, went all red and got flushed and embarrassed and i was like oh thank you so much she's like you look so good for 30 as if 30 years old when it's not that was a nice compliment i said it's probably because i got no makeup on <laughs> oh that's bright back in reese's car at bunnings reese bought some double-sided tape because we are <laughs> This is the most you and I thing of all time, but Mia's got little stairs from Kmart, but they're not very grippy, they're like plasticky. And so previously at our first house, Reese had cut some carpet up and stuck the carpet over the stairs so that she could run up to the couch and stuff like that without having to jump. Well, now that we actually have carpet in our house, he pulled off that old carpet and we've got some leftover carpet from our house, our current house. So her stairs are gonna be reupholstered with um, our wool carpet. So her little stairs will match the rest of the house, which is very fancy. So it's got some double-sided tape to stick that down. <laughs> and then now we're about to go get some dinner. I'm gonna get Hungry Jack's because they are the only place that does a vegetarian burger. Reese will get Red Rooster. A rare occurrence on the drink is actually Diet Coke. And all the food is there and we didn't have to wait 30 minutes. Yay! It's a large half chicken and chips. It's happening. It's all for you memes. Woo! Just you wait, memes. You're gonna be in heaven. Oh my god, it's happening! This is so cute. Look at that, just blends straight in. So cute. Ooh, memes, you're taking your steps for a spin. Oh, <laughs> just bounced off her head. What do you think of your stairs? Mm, Look, memes, whoa! Yep. Whoa! Mm, 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 Taking them for a spin, Snits! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's the, the stuff. stuff. I had to come inside to film this. I was gonna text you. It's that night again where the sky is so clear that it's almost overwhelming. Since we've been here, last few weeks there was one night where we went outside and the sky was so clear it was almost it was yeah as i said it was overwhelming in terms of it made me feel like what's the what's the word um the word when you're too aware of your own existence existential it was just like you forget what the sky is meant to look like when you live in a normal like <laughs> suburban area until you come to a place where there's no light pollution and it's insane and that first night that I, I just, I couldn't believe it to Reese. I actually was a little bit like, it was scary almost. Have, it seemed like the sky was so close and it was so clear. And I didn't take photos that time, but I've been taking photos ever since. And it's been cloudy and I've been so frustrated that I didn't take a photo that time. And tonight is another clear night, like that first night. So I want to include pictures here. Oh my God, it's so incredible. And you can do it with your own phone. It's just hard if you live in a suburban area because you've got street lights and stuff. So I put my phone on a three second timer, like self timer, put the night mode to all the way up to night, which basically takes, it takes 30 seconds to take the photo and lay my phone screen down on the ground and then just walk away so that it's completely stable. And then you get these photos. We set up the trail cam last night because we wanted to capture the wombats so we decided to put it on the bottom of the bird bath. So I'm going to take this off and see if we found anything. Alright, let's see. I don't have high hopes. Nah. Damn. Really old photos. Oh well, better luck next time. We vacuumed yesterday but we bought this little thing. It's like a lint fluff 
thing. And you mopped and cleaned the flooring, but this is hopefully going to be a little interim thing for this little girl. Oh, there is, has it caught fluff? You can see it's trailing behind. Yeah. So it does, it is working at least. Burning my Barbie candle. It smells like glass house, because there's a glass house obviously. Vanilla Taha. Oh, it's just called Taha. But the vanilla caramel candle, just with a hint of strawberry. You okay, memes? It's 4.53. My dad and stepmom came over at 10 and they stayed basically the whole day just chatting, which was really nice to see them. They've moved down to not close to us, but they were like three hours away and now they're only an hour away. So they're down down south, further south than we are, um, which is lovely. It's better to spend time with them. Like have family close by, it's really nice. So anyway, didn't really do much today apart from that. We're just going to Macca's now to get some dinner. But what did I, I only had a shake this morning, a piece of carrot cake and this, oh, and, and two teas. I ordered a cheeseburger without the beef patty because every time Reese orders, orders a cheeseburger, orders a cheeseburger, the car smells amazing. The mustard, the onion, the pickle. And I'm like, that's the best part. Like, I feel like the patty is like this thin, so it wouldn't even matter if you do, if you take it out, hopefully. And I also ordered the mozzarella sticks because I need something else to fill up my meal because I don't have, normally I don't order from McDonald's because they don't have like a veggie burger. So hopefully the burger would be nice and just a couple of other things. But anyway, we had an, a guy come around the other day to, to quote us for cameras around our house. And this morning, Reese noticed that there were a stranger's boot footprints all around our house with a huge dog's footprints alongside, which is really concerning because they only appeared either late last night or early this morning, which means that like someone has walked all the way up our driveway, not even knowing if we were awake or not, and like walked around our house and we have no curtains, which is really concerning. So they've seen like basically into, I mean, my room with my computers and stuff, which just freaks me out. So I don't like thinking about it, but we're going to get cameras installed ASAP, um, put a gate up and that kind of thing. I, we're wondering, like, is it a neighbour? If they were walking their dog? Anyway, we'll see. I don't know where I can put you. It's not going to stay there. Okay, shocking angle. Nowhere else to put it. I went to put with the dipping sauce. Okay, we're home and look how small. I don't know if this is a normal thing. It, would, it is. Reese just said that even the quarter pound is a tiny. That is a cheeseburger. Do you, can I just like the size of that? Wait, let me get, get this off. I'm not sure how small this is. There's nothing but I, it's like minuscule. All right, let's see what it's, it's so, it's like smaller than a, a McMuffin. Mm. That is the smallest thing I've ever seen. It's is it still gonna be honey. Wait, oh, there's still pick there are pickles in it. One pickle. Is it onion? It should be. There's one pickle and no onion. Onion. It's not even a true cheeseburger, you jerks. Wait, is there even mustard? Where's the mustard? This is the true cheeseburger version of that. Oh god, that's good though. Mmm. It does have mustard. No onion though. Jerks. Mm. <laughs> we took a photo, I remember, in Bali of you holding a burger because it was so little in, in the taxi. Mm. Your hands were like this and it looked like you were eating this tiny little like slider. That's what the size of that looks like. <laughs> hey friends, I'm here to talk through the footage that you're about to see because it was all filmed in a vertical orientation rather than landscape. So there's gonna be some dead space on the side of the screen. And I also didn't talk in, in any of this footage. So I'm here to basically explain what you're gonna see in each video. I am uploading a lot more on TikTok now, which has taken up a lot of my time. So I haven't been, I came back on YouTube like, oh my God, I'm gonna 
to be here like all the time to then just that like radio silence but I'm really enjoying TikTok at the moment my handle is Loz Curtis if you want to follow me there but for longer form content like vlogs and you know life stuff I'll be here. YouTube is my home, of course. That's where it all started out. So I'm gonna basically just watch this. I have my laptop next to me and I'm just gonna watch it as we go. So hopefully the timing is right. <laughs> Day two of seeing if there were any animals caught on the camera. Unfortunately, didn't catch any wombats, but we did catch a rabbit, which is super annoying because they're eating all of my plants. And yes, wombats are in WA, before you ask. I didn't think they were either, but upon Googling it, there's like a southern hairy-nosed wombat or something, and there are square poos all around our house and around our property. So the only animal that does square poos is a wombat, which is insane and super exciting, and we're trying to capture him. Not literally, not like physically capture him, but <laughs> capture him in video. So these are old sleepers. I knew that I wanted the edges of the gate to be recycled old crusty wood, <laughs> like with bolts and like screws and stuff in it, just old and rustic. We've got our sleepers. Reese is just talking me through location, location, location. He's already dug that hole. Really difficult with that block because there are so many tree roots, so it really is a big job to dig holes anywhere. As you can see, he's got to like literally jump on the shovel in order to actually penetrate into the soil. So he was digging those two holes and then cemented them in. We were just planning on getting something simple, like a aluminium farm gate, because we didn't want anything too fancy. You also see that the fence is really high off the ground. Now that's, sorry, the gate, the gate is really high off the ground. Not ideal, but because our driveway is so slow, Sloped. It was either have a really big gap on the bottom or have it come outwards towards the car coming inside the driveway. But the issue with that is that people might not know that it comes outward at them, which most gates don't. So their car could get hit because we're planning on having it motorized. Uh, so it just was risky. You can put a sign on, but like it's just easy to have it going inwards is what people are used to. And the gap on the bottom is fine. I mean, it's just there to stop cars and a car still can't fit through that bottom gap. Memes can walk straight under it and dogs and stuff can go un underneath it and wildlife, which is great. So it looks silly, but it was functional and we had no other choice. <laughs> mm. You may be wondering, well, why didn't you just do like a sliding gate? Uh, well, our driveway's already been laid. So to dig up all of that asphalt and to create and then to cement the track in, and then also to clear the bush where the gate would eventually slide into and then do, it was just so much more work and it would have been so much more expensive. So we decided to keep it simple, even though a sliding gate would have been ideal, like that's the best option, of course. The house itself is like one thing, but like all the other stuff to do with this house has been just so expensive. Anyway, pivoting now to putting together some furniture for our outdoor setting. This was actually meant to be in our like, alfresco area, but this area has now been paved with this travertine, these travertine pavers. So we wanted to bring out that furniture that we've had since we bought it like Boxing Day sales in December. So it's been sitting in the shed for a long time. It's just from Super Amar. It's actually a pretty good deal. And it's a really nice set. Like it, the, the wood color looks nice, the, the, the cushions are nice. Um, yeah, we were actually pretty, pretty stoked with, with how that looks. Yes. Reese has been busy illuminating all of our grass trees. Not all of our grass trees, he'd be there for 10 years. He's been busy putting up lights on like feature plants of ours, like this gum tree, this beautiful grass tree with multiple heads. He bought the light kit from Bunnings and he's just been setting it all up. Basically, these are the most immediate grass trees around our house. And then also all the grass trees down our driveway. Those were like, I don't know if they purposely planned our driveway around the grass trees, but literally like perfectly. These grass trees, these established old grass trees just line our driveway. It's so special. <laughs> Memes was getting carried in <laughs> the little gor gorilla cart thing uh, by Reese. I wasn't even at home, <laughs> so that was his footage. So that's the farm gate. It's really high off the ground, but the issue is no privacy. And I was like, hmm, what, what can I put on that to add privacy? And I'm skipping that right now. We're going back to gardening. So I can't remember which order I put these in. They're, they're in chron chronological order, but it's just a bit of a mess. So 
got these for this side of the house. Now you can see that I'm pointing out eventually how wide it gets. So I'm quite mathematical in this <laughs> um, particular situation. I figured out how wide it grew and then I drew a circle around it so I knew how big it would get. And then I got these little blue fescues which Reese and I have always loved. I don't know how well they're going to go because they're not going to get much light there so they're probably not going to become very blue. Then I measured the width of this plan and I said it gets to 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters and it's perfectly 50 centimeters. I didn't, that was just un unintentional. Anyway, so basically all that means is that they're all gonna grow and have their own space but not have too much space between them. Reese is just cutting off all of the grass tree, the dead grass tree leaves. We do this like probably once a year just to keep them looking fresh and he uses an electric hedge trimmer. You can burn them but we live in a bushfire prone area. It is not worth the risk. It's better for the tree. Oh, um, that's debatable in terms of it's really stressful for the tree being burned but all of the ash from the sugary leaves uh, goes into the soil and like feeds the plant so it does you know it's, it's, it's a cycle but we're just not willing to take that risk <laughs> so now I am just this is like a fast forwarded version that I took from TikTok it's pretty straightforward you probably know how to put a plant in the ground I checked the tag and kind of made a mental note of how wide they get and then placed them all evenly because I want them to all have their own shape. I don't, I don't want them to be too much space between each tree and I also don't want them to be too crowded so I got Reese's spirit level and basically just measured everything out. So these first three are bigger versions of these ones here that I'm planting now. This space there's a lot of room for improvement here. This is just like the smallest job. This area needs a lot of work, a lot of mulch, more plants. It doesn't get much light so I'm kind of wary of what I'm going to plant there. I don't want to plant something that needs a lot of light. I probably need like a thousand of these but it's a lot of work planting stuff here because again the tree roots it just takes so long. We bought this back to the gate. We bought this from Bunnings. It's like this bark screening and it was Reese is making it look easy. It took a long time to do this and it was really fiddly and it was really frustrating. It's one of those jobs that you don't realize it's going to be a nightmare until you're doing it. Now, just quickly, he got his like electric saw thing. I don't know what that is. And he used that to cut the bark, which was such a godsend because it would have been so hard to cut it otherwise to make sure that it fit the, the gate properly. So we chose to use this for privacy because it looks like what is around the area. It's just old bark. Um, so it kind of camouflages into the, the space more. It's not like black plastic or metal or something. It's just like natural, natural. But the issue was that when we lifted it, onto the pole, the bark was coming off like, like it was sagging. As you can see, it was sagging below because of the weight of it. We had like wires taping, like wiring it to the, the, the fence, but I mean, see, she comes straight out underneath, but it wasn't doing enough. So as you can see now, Reese, clever cookie, got some trims that he uses for work, some metal trims, was drilling those into the bottom of the fence. And that way, like they, they, they come out a little bit like a little shelf, the, so as you can see, they're like coming down. Then this bit, they're sitting on top of that, which means that they stay level and they're not gonna sag down, which was just such, it was like the perfect product to use and we didn't have to buy anything because he already had it. So good. So what this does, the best thing about this for me is that from the road, now we have privacy on for our, like privacy on our bedroom, for our bedroom over our privacy in our, Privacy? What is the next word I meant to use then? I'm having a brain, brain freeze. Anyway, we have privacy over our bedroom like windows, which is something that I've been really concerned about. I was thinking that I'm going to have to like, wait like five years for, for plants to grow. But as you can see, it provides a lot of privacy from the road because our house, like unfortunately, the, the first room you can see is our bedroom. We'll have like blinds and everything, of course, but I just love, look, you can't see anything, whereas before that was completely open. Oh, so good. I love it. And it just looks natural because it is. You can buy that like brushwood stuff, but I didn't like that as much. This just looks a lot more, I don't know, just pays respect to the surroundings that are already there, you know? Now I am raking this random area of sand that's between our paving and our driveway asphalt and just trying to level that out as much as I can before Reese goes in, just to make the job a little bit easier for him. We were thinking about what to put here and it's just a nice little, a small area, Reese is just leveling it now, a small area that we can put grass in, memes can go to the toilet there, it's cute. The moment we laid it, she went out and peed on the carpet, on, on the grass. And then she was doing spins on it. Like she just loves grass because it's what she's used to. And I mean, she's fine peeing on like sand, obviously, but it's nice for her to have what she's used to. And also it means less mess for us because um, she was bringing in sand every time she went to the toilet. 
and because we've got dark flooring now it is a bit of a nightmare to keep clean so now he's just <laughs> I love him he's just sketching out the pavers and how it's gonna look so we have some leftover pavers from our patio area so we're thinking of just doing little stepping stones around the house just using what we already have save money and it looks pretty nice um, obviously it's not done yet but so that is it all leveled we ended up having it like this for a couple of weeks because we had really heavy rains and we couldn't um, the the grass place couldn't harvest the turf because it was like underwater literally Reese put the grass in today so this is is a mixture of it's like a buffalo mixed with something else I think or is it buffalo but it's buffalo something we couldn't get buffalo for our other area like the area in front of me because it gets too much too much sun and buffalo needs a bit more shade otherwise it just takes so much water so we're gonna go, go for a cooch out there which is a bit more sun hardy eventually we'll do that but that one is yeah a bit more tolerant of, of shade because that area is quite shaded and it just wanted something a bit more green in that area it was quite like just dull so to have that bit of color is just so nice and Reese did an amazing job as always of installing it we decided to put some pavers down in that area I'll, I'll insert a photo here so you can walk on them to enter the house but um yeah it's all coming together and then he put these he found the perfect limestone rocks these are from our block the perfect flat jigsaw rocks crazy and use those as like edging between an area that's going to have mulch and then the grass like what a clever cookie it just it's just so satisfying they well they fit couldn't believe it i was like gosh clever man oh next job is retaining so this was a this was something that i was honestly i had to put it on the back burner for like five years or like in, in into the future i could not be bothered dealing with it Ugh. Jumping around, this is our pendant light. We needed to get an electrician to put this in so we couldn't even test it when we got it, but it's like weighs like one one gram because it's just mesh. Anyway, so the retaining, I hope the next foot the next clip is going to be that. So I'm speaking a million miles an hour, but that's just, just me normally. Um oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> a little sprout grew out of a gum nut. One of the seeds inside the gum nut must have the perfect conditions to sprout, so I buried it. Anyway, okay, end of that story. Now Reese tried out the motor. So that's how it looks It's uh, when it's motorized. We don't have it that way yet. He had to use extension cords, but once an electrician comes to wire it up, that's how it'll look. How cool. Anyway, back to retaining. So this is the easiest, cheapest way of retaining all of this bloody sand. So it's great. Reese did an amazing job. We just, you probably know what that is if you are familiar with any kind of gardening or whatever. Look at these black cockatoos eating the she oak nuts. So amazing, such beautiful big birds. But yeah, I can't believe that's already done now. That was something I wasn't even planning on doing for a long time because I was thinking it was going to be a huge job. But it was, I mean, it was a big job for Reese, but it wasn't nearly as bad as we thought it was going to be. Okay, end of story. Now we're on to blinds. I literally haven't taken a break this whole time. Um, we got our blinds from DIY Blinds. They gave us a little discount. We did pay for most of it. We got double roller blinds in all of the minor bedrooms. Like this is my makeup room that I'm in right now. And then we got sheer curtains and um, block out blinds for the main living area. And then for our theater and our bedroom, we got block out curtains and block out, sorry, block out curtains and sheer curtains. It's very confusing. It was so confusing to measure all the damn windows. I'm never going to do that again. And blinds are so expensive, but thank God for Reese. We got a fireplace, yay! This thing weighs like 200 kilos, I think Reese said. It was terrifying. Look at our little embarrassingly terrible first fire we tried to light. Oh, so good. Then look at memes, like soaking up the, the warmth. It was terrifying watching them bring it in because it's so heavy. They don't normally install those ones, so it was. they didn't realize how heavy it was going to be, but it's absolutely beautiful. Oh God. Anyway, next topic. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so pretty. That was my first reaction. So you can see the top of it, they had two lights. We actually asked the electrician to like deactivate those, for lack of a better word, because it just was too bright. That is how we wanted it, it to look, just this beautiful cloud with all these like LED lights. Funny story, Temple and Webster, which is where we got it from, there was one of these exact, this exact light, so without those two lights on top, for like, I think it was $3,000. This one was on clearance for $1,000 and I had been waiting for the other one to go on sale and it never did, or it was like 10% off or something. Then Reese found that one and I was like, oh my God, it's the exact same light, it just has these two stupid lights on top, but I was so happy. Anyway, you can see the light above, that is also from Temple and Webster. The power of the globes, they can take six, six watts. We did five, three watts, three watts, and it was still too bright, we should have gone like two watts, but anyway, 
That is the sheer curtains. I realized afterwards that we had done the S curve wrong. We didn't even do an S curve, but you'll see afterwards. They were pretty easy to put up the actual curtains themselves, like the fabric. But if you're doing this on your own and you're not a DIY person, the whole curtains thing, I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. Reese did all of that hard work and our house is a bit more complicated. Like, so you can before and after, that's how we had it before. And we're like, these don't look that great. And then I moved some things and I was like, oh, that's how I meant to look with the Esco. People might ask why they're not higher up. I wanted the tracks for the curtains to be in front of the frames that already exist. The display home, the curtains were taller, but the, the, the track was in front of the windows and I hated that. I don't want to obstruct windows. If there's already a frame that's ugly, I might as well just use that. Yeah, the curtains are a little bit shorter, but it's... I don't know. So we have lots of sheer curtains. It's like a lot, but it's so good to have privacy. Oh my God. I can't believe how long we went without having any blinds. Like that's wild for me. I'm like a privacy queen. <laughs> Back to the blinds. If you are a handy person, then you'll be fine with the DIY blinds thing if you're looking into blinds. But if you're not handy or you have a really complicated house and you're kind of handy, but you're not really sure, just, yeah, it is a lot of measuring and a lot of work and we it's probably a million times easier if you have a wooden frame house we have a brick house so it is just by nature going to be harder okay this is how they look i'm nearly nearing the end of the video but it looks stunning um we can't show the rest of the house because we don't have those ones installed yet but just absolutely beautiful uh a lot of fabric but just look how nicely it ties everything together Oh, it's like this linen linen kind of fabric and it's stunning with our pendant light. It's all coming together and it finally feels like a home, which uh, we have been waiting for for so long. We even got a missing piece of our couch that we've been waiting on for months because Coco Republic stuffed it up. The fire burning in the background. It's just so cozy. It just, oh God. It's these moments where you're like, ah, oh, finally we're getting closer to not have, having stuff to do all the time on the inside of the house. Because we moved in here and then like Reese's health went, took a dive and then I didn't even like being in the house because I felt like, uns not unsafe, but like scared because it was like all open and it just didn't feel like a house because we hadn't lived here before. And now, like, look at memes. It just feels like a home. It's cozy. It's really exciting. Um, oh, yeah, and these roller blinds are motorized in the main area. So you just press the little remote and they go up all at the same time, which is great because we have so many windows there that it would take a while otherwise. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you updated on other parts of the, the like, it's more sort of the outside stuff now, like our patio, lawns, that kind of thing. Um, I've got a minute of this video left before it cuts me off, but I hope I didn't speak too far. I mean, I did definitely speak too fast, but I hope you managed to understand most of it. It's um, hard to kind of annotate this and watch it at the same time and get everything in. There's so much to say. I didn't realize there was so much to say. I thought I would have too much of this footage and I wouldn't have en en enough to say. But I can obviously talk to the cows come home. So and my voice is breaking already just from talking for like <laughs> 20 minutes straight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still showing you footage apparently. I don't know when it ends. What's the time? 28, 18. We've got about 30, 10 seconds, 15 seconds left. Look at the little baby snizzy. It's also really nice seeing her just relax finally and getting to sunbake and yeah, just love this place and feeling very grateful that it's all come together in the way that it has. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys. If you'd like to watch more of this kind of content, head over to my TikTok, Loz Curtis, Instagram, or just stay tuned here.